you are welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time of being here hello you are welcome to my channel my name is Tessie so how are you all doing I hope you all are doing well because I am doing wonderful so Reno or Mokri has finally released the evidence he threatened to release about INEC server you guys remember he said he has an evidence that shows that INEC truly used server at the 2019 presidential election so my dear people he has finally released the evidence but INEC is still denying that it never used any server at the 2019 presidential election so i'm still going to read the news for you guys the way i'm seeing it here but before i continue if this is the first time you're watching my video i have been watching without subscribing what are you waiting for in this channel we talk about politics metro news entertainment and all of that and you don't want to miss any of those news anytime we publish them so please kindly click on the red subscribe button down below to subscribe also on the notification button in that way anytime i upload a new video they will notify you and i pray that the same way you guys are supporting me here in this channel god will definitely send people that will support you in whatever you are doing in life in jesus name amen so without wasting much of your time let's go straight to this news so the headline of this news says did INEC really say it never make use of server in the 2019 election so let's just go down and uh, see what they've got for us here fresh perspective appear to be imagined on the refuter of the independent national electoral commission saying it never made use of a central server for the 2019 election copy of an internal secular of electoral body appears to review otherwise the secular indicates that the commission transmitted voter information from the smart card reader deployed for the electoral exercise to a central server during the 2019 presidential election first posted on social media by reno omokri a consistent voice of opposition to the ruling party and a former pdp official during the administration of former president good luck jonathan the document shows a directive from the national secretary of INEC, rose orion anthony to another senior officials of the commission on challenges recorded in transmitting voter accreditation data to a server the commissioners has observed with deep concern the number of smart card readers that do not have data of accredited voters in the just concluded presidential election nationwide mrs Aurelia anthony said in the march 25th letter to all resident electoral commission across the country the top electoral officer also noted in the memo that 4,786 smart card readers did not have data on accredited voters following the presidential election of February 23, representing about 4% of the total XCRX deployed for that exercise. Okay, guys, so this is the evidence released by these people. You can even see it. Okay, let's just see. Here it is written, Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC Headquarter. So, let's just go down and... Uh, so, you said, request to account for polling units without smart card reader accreditation data for the 2019 presidential election. So, if you just go down, you will see most of the information. And maybe if you want to read the full this thing, I saw it on Reynolds' um, uh, Twitter handle. So, they released the full document. Everything is there. So, if you go there, you will find. So, moving on, it said, this is a circular from INEC to its 36 resident electoral commissioners threatening to sanction on RECS who failed to send data to INEC headquarters through their server. Incontrovertible evidence at INEC Nigeria has and had a server. Incontrovertible proof of INEC server. Attached is the chart showing the PUS pooling unit not uploaded to the SCR accreditation backend for each of the states, Ms. Oriaran Anthony added in the memo. 
Miss Olora Anthony then directed all consigned ROGCS to liaise with the technical and electoral operation officials to clarify why the card reader failed to upload accreditation data on election day. They were given until March 28 to submit their replies. According to Premium Times, several efforts to speak with Festus Okoye, a spokesperson for INEC, in a bid to get his comment on the internal memo were declined. The document makes yet another pressure on the electoral body over whether or not it used central server to collect data from polling units across the country on the election day. The commission has insisted that it was not in possession of any central server for the conduct of the election, saying doing so would have contradicted the electoral act. INEC maintained the position despite overwhelming claim to the contrary by some of its presiding officer in the election. Many of the presiding officer and their subordinates have since sworn a affidavit to testify against the commission in favor of Atiku Abubakar, the PDP candidate and main challenger to the president, Muhammad Buhari, who was declared the winner of the election. According to the online news platform, investigation also reviewed that INEC budgeted nearly $1.5 billion for server ahead of the presidential election. But the commission told the electoral tribunal that it has no server and Mr. Bubaka and his team will only be mischievous. A former chairman of INEC, Atahiru Jega, also told Premium Time that there was no server during his days at INEC and expressed doubt about any recent installation of such facilities under Yakubu Mahmoud. Mr. Bubaka's legal team said the opposition leader won the presidential election but was rigged out by INEC officials who allegedly compromised to return Mr. Buhari to power. The election tribunal denied Mr. Bubaka's request to inspect INEC server last month, saying granting such an order will presuppose that the court has ruled that the server actually existed. The court defied pronounce pronouncement on the server until a proper argument has been made by both team in the substantive petition. The petitioners began calling its witnesses last week. It remains to be seen what argument the electoral body plans to tender on this latest revelation and how it will regard out of it. The presidential election legal from all indication appear to have just begun. Okay guys, so this is basically the news for you guys and uh, the funny thing about this uh, case now is that I don't even know when is the next hearing of the court, but I'll just try and find out and uh, keep you guys updated and I want to use this opportunity to, uh, to appreciate every one of you that keep sending me news on my WhatsApp and um, keep contacting me asking me of updates most of you that calls me and we talk about different things in general i really appreciate every one of you because it's not everybody that we have that we even have that chance to even a uh, P uh, copy my number from this youtube channel and call me send me news most people don't have that time but for you people that have singled out your time to contact me to reach me out i really appreciate and um if you know you have any kind of story that you would want to share with us or maybe you want to make a voice record uh, of something you know it will interest the people that watches this channel my number is always on the comment section you can always contact me and send me your voice record on whatsapp talk to me i'm always there to uh, attend to all my subscribers so with that i would just say thank you so much for watching thank you for staying to this point of this video i really appreciate your efforts love and support on this channel is not taken for granted even for one day so with that i'll just say thank you so much for watching please don't forget to share this video with family friends and loved ones subscribe and like and i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye until i come your way next time bye